What's up, everybody? It's your boy MY Caillou Swag. Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously a fire nation. Just that everything out there. changed when the fire nation. Now, scratch it. Everything changed when Generation X attacked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, terrible. Only the millennials, master of both generations, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I say, they knew how to file their taxes and operate TikTok. <laughs> but when the world needed us most, Corona struck. <laughs> <laughs> and we disappeared from the economy. <laughs> we got fucking blamed for everything that Gen Z is doing. <laughs> right. Oh, Millennials God. are taking That's spring right. break. No, Jesus. we aren't. X. You said X. Whatever. We all say It's close <laughs> enough. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, Somebody yeah. write that. Say, <laughs> say, but say, save that. Mm. Send it back to me. Anyways, we've got the goblin on the phone. Just the same as last week, we have the great pesky Griffey. What's up, guys? Mm. We are. She, she lacks monotone. That's oh. a good thing. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> you I've been want, out in the sun. You don't want monotone people, dude. Like, my brain is fried right now, America. Mm. And people not in America. Listen up, America. Don't fry your brains. All right, so today on the docket, what are we talking about, guys? We are fussing about what was the greatest Nintendo console of all time and the game that accompanies mm. that console. Maybe not in the same generation, but whatever. <laughs> I, I can't stand him fussing. <laughs> right no one can Sound no like one can all right i'm gonna let my facts be known today so we're gonna start this Spell off with the consoles <laughs> so pesky take it from there oh wait we're also playing some mario karts so, while yeah. doing online yeah so you yeah. want to get that started to get that work yeah I'm about, I'm don't, don't let them see that we're doing 100 cc they go think we're gonna be soft <laughs> easy comp no no no, no. Shut, up, shut up shut up you stop speaking it oh. <laughs> just edit that part out just edit it out <laughs> anyway oh. uh back to said console debate yeah yeah so let's just get it going so uh the console that i picked i don't think that anybody else probably picked but I picked it for a couple of different reasons. Um, number one, it's probably my favorite console that Nintendo or the series of consoles that Nintendo has ever come out with. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. But the what I picked was the Nintendo DS. Oh, wow. And the reason I picked the Nintendo DS is because, let's be real, they Part came out with nation. so right. <laughs> many games for it. It was ridiculous the amount of games that they came out oh, with. Oh god, for you're this so console. true, bro. <laughs> um, all of them were backwards compatible. You could even play, what was it? You could play your Game Boy Advanced games on yes. there as well. Up until the uh, 3DS, I believe, is when you couldn't do that anymore. Um, but the biggest reason that I picked the Nintendo DS consoles was because they were the consoles that really uh, mainstreamed video games for little girls because Aww. making um, <laughs> af- especially after they came out with like the 3DS you could download all of these games to this handheld system and so lots of indie game developers started coming out with lots of different um, very cheap titles and a lot of them were aimed at little girls like, I mean, you g- have, can you give like, us some examples like what was your favorite um, my favorite 3DS game ever. Like, like of the in the same vein uh, yeah. of the, the Not four your girls. Girl. No, no, no. I was saying yeah, like your favorite little girl. Oh, targeted towards small children. I feel weird saying little girl. <laughs> but your favorite uh, one was targeted towards that demographic. <laughs> uh, well, my favorite, actually, the game that really, really got me hooked on my uh, Nintendo DS was actually Animal Crossing. Oh. That was my first ever Animal Crossing game because I didn't have Animal Crossing on like the GameCube. I actually never had like a GameCube or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, my first uh, and only really? console that I had of Nintendo before I had the DS was uh, I had the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, and the Game Boy Advance. And so I never had any um, like television consoles as far as the ds went but uh, i would say that my favorite um 
game that was primarily targeted towards yeah, little yeah. girls uh, would have to be Nintendogs. That was my... That was for little I, girls? I, Wait, I what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you want to admit? I fucking love that. <laughs> now, I mean, it wasn't only targeted at little girls. But I, know, I would I say know. that it, it was primarily. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes so, I mean, you know, I just, I just I have an disagree. extreme love for that game, be, for uh, that console, just because I think it did so much for mainstreaming women playing video games. Okay. Simple, right? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to not say things like that. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, cool, cool. So that was your favorite. Do, I guess we're gonna just step in right here and tell you why it's trash, I guess. I'm about to say, uh, I'm happy to jump <laughs> in. Fuck y'all. Uh, you know, number uno muno, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who cares about handhelds? Who hit me with a fireball? I'm gonna throw it out there, disrespect me. Yeah. But anyway, who cares about handheld? The See, greatest. That's not the reason why I'm gonna say that. No, that, no, it, it, it matters. It's like handhelds don't matter. They're not real consoles. Not in my definition. They're called handheld consoles. So they're called handheld portables. Mm. Console. <laughs> but anyway, the only reason why I say that is just because I've had what a Game Boy. The original one, Game Boy Color, SP, going all the way up to the to whatever the touchscreen one was. At, uh, 3DS? Yeah, 3DS. And I've never had an actual full immersive experience in all the games I've ever played. That's why I, I wouldn't really. say that. But, you know, I understand where you're coming from, though. Like, well, definitely. I will say that the DS, the original Nintendo DS, is actually Nintendo's best-selling console of all time with more than 150 million units sold worldwide. Yeah, I believe it. I bought one. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I had every single iteration of the DS. I have a 3DS, the DSi, the DS Lite, the 3DS XL. I actually have two different 3DS XLs. I have one for myself to play, and then I have one that I can stream from. Wow. <laughs> I just yeah. got the one. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I, I, it's my personal favorite game, game system yeah, yeah, yeah. as far as they go, but I do understand um, the reason why people, oops, I did not make that jump, apparently, uh, the reason why people would have a problem with it right. being, you know, my top pick. Like, I'm willing to admit that. All right, on the other people. Yeah. All right, do you want to go or do you want me to go? I'll do it. All right, go for it. Okay, so first of all, the greatest Nintendo console of all time, undisputed, undebated. You heard me. Uh, <laughs> undebatable. Boo -boo. Undebatable. You know what? That is a word. <laughs> undebatable boo -boo is uh, the Super NES. No question. Super NES? Get the, the fuck out of here, boy. You know why? why? Do you know why? Tell me, tell me Give why. Give you two great reasons. <laughs> Number one, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past came out on that. Great game. Amazing game. <laughs> Revolutionary. Breath of the Wild was better though. True. <laughs> okay, but you can't. <laughs> but it started something. It started something. <laughs> You can't, you can't pick a console just because of the game that came out on it. Uh, That's not what the game <laughs> first, first of all, I can do whatever I want, ma'am. And I choose to pick a console based on the game that came out. Oh, my God. So I guess we already know what game you're going to say is the best. No, you don't, actually. But, you know, this is something to speculate on. Oh, you got, I got a curveball there. Listing my reasons. Go ahead, go Another ahead. Another reason the Super NES was because Super was in the title. Because That's right. I'm that super. simple. <laughs> <laughs> Hard hitting facts right here. Hard hitting reporter facts. Never question it. Ever. Oh wow, you guys are getting washed over here. Wiggy, wiggy. I don't have an actual controller. Washed. Hey. All right. And the final most important reason. I played Mario Kart for the first time on that thing. There you go. And got bodied. Yeah, well. <laughs> There so not much has changed in that regard. So screw all the BS, all right? Those are my reasons for that console. My console, of course, is the greatest, and you all know what it is already. I'm the only voice of reason here, and that is the GameCube. Everybody knows that the GameCube was the greatest freaking console ever. Why? It had all the bangers, all the hits, 
Resident Evil. Uh, the, the, what you say? <laughs> console I'm, no, I'm saying I'm saying the whole entire library that was available, right? Thought you said you couldn't pick based off of games. You picked one game. I'm saying it had all the hits, right? Like so, yeah, all these great, amazing games. You had great exclusives mainly because of the fact that there was no third-party support, really. Because let's be honest, it didn't we didn't do as great as we thought it would be. But it was an awesome little machine. Now they had their flaws, like that stupid disc thing that they put in there instead of supporting normal DVDs. Sure, that was stupid. Yeah, that was <laughs> but, interesting design choice. But it was just, it was a great experience though. Like you, like all the titles were just great. You had so much to choose from. It was just a great time in gaming, like in general. So that that that's my reason. There you go. Anybody want to dispute the GameCube? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you can't. I can't. Why? Watch me. <laughs> Number one, right. reason why it is a trash console. <laughs> trash. Who was on it other than Smash Bros? Uh, Resident Evil, oh, Mario yeah. Sunshine. You clean up a beach. But it was lit though. It was homework. It was lit. It was homework. <laughs> Bloody Roar. That was on every console. I know, but it was the funnest on GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on, I'll keep disputing. Give me another reason. Mm. I will shoot this shit Pikmin. down. Pikmin was on there. That game is trash. The game was great. The game is trash. Oh my god. You know how they improved that game? They remade it and they called it Overlord. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be real. I don't think that the GameCube is the greatest game that they've ever come out with. Uh, the game console okay. that they've ever come out with. And one of the big reasons that I'm gonna say that is because let's be real it hasn't really stood the test of time i mean yeah but you have so much new stuff out like what it's, it's over with <laughs> okay I, I mean like the console itself it's not the strongest console that they've come out with oh definitely not it, it did not it, sell as hard, well as they wanted to, to yeah. find a gamecube that's still in great condition right now uh, mine what? <laughs> what you gonna plug but it I mean, into? Like, if, you're, if you're looking yeah, to purchase it, it's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, like, if you didn't purchase it originally and keep it in good condition, like, it wasn't a, uh, like, it is a bit fragile. Well, I blame that on the consumer, 100%. You, you are be, the consumer! You shouldn't be dropping your GameCube, all right? That is a precious, air, <laughs> a precious piece of technology that should be cherished. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, I, get, I see what you're saying, though. But I was, that's my favorite one. You got all the hits on there. It's just, just such a good, good console. Which they made some terrible design choices, which would like, greatly hamper its success. I'll say that. Anyway, mm. moving on to best game mm. of Nintendo. America the would best. say you. What is the best? All right, so I guess... I'll, I'll, Why don't we go in reverse order this time? Yeah. Okay, well then that would mean you go first. Yeah, best game, like I said earlier, was Mario Sunshine. I don't care what none of y'all say. You clearly don't, because you're clearly wrong. And clearly yeah. correct. Bruh, I put so many hours into replaying this game. You it put is a hours hidden, into it is a, your chores. It is legit a hidden masterpiece. To do right? your chores. It is a good, like, it introduced totally new platforming concepts it to the Mario not. franchise. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And it was so good that even to this day, in Smash Brothers, you still have the water cannon. Bruh. And you're sleeping on the game, bro. It was good. It was good. Yeah, innovative boss fights. Uh, navigating the level was amazing for the time. Like, it's just, it's just all around good. And it taught you the importance of keeping the planet safe. So imagine me as a child watching planet Captain safe. Planet and then going to play some Super Mario Sunshine. I'm sorry. I felt like a, like a, like a, like an activist or Give something. Give me a minute to swallow your shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> but Mario Sunshine, definitely the greatest game ever from Nintendo. All right, now allow me to rain on his beach. Number mm -hmm. one, chores. Fun chores. Cleaning has never been fun. It's not just care, chores. You're saving the you? environment. You are a hero in that game. You are hippie, an actual hero. Hippie. <laughs> tree hugger. <laughs> Whatever. You're a real, anyway, real hero. Reason number two. I didn't see Luigi in that game. 
that makes it an even better Mario game. That's what? terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Luigi is so much better than Mario. Thank you. What is this? <laughs> that man has one come up in, in this game <laughs> with the death stare. And everybody's on Team Luigi. That's right. Y'all are not loyal. Like this. Yeah, whole mansion. Mario <laughs> don't even own a house. He inherited it and is haunted. He still owns the mansion. <laughs> Just because it ain't worth nothing in property value don't mean nothing. He still owns it. <laughs> Barb's Bush. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, that's it for me, though. So you guys can go. Uh, let me see. The greatest Nintendo game of all time to me. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, no question. No, I should have known. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good one. That's actually in my honorable mention, like, so Majora's I can't argue Majora's Mask is that. amazing, start to finish. Mm -hmm. I gave so many kids nightmares playing it. <laughs> so you want to check this out? <laughs> yeah, you want to see... You want to see what the moon looks like when you're sleeping? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this is what it looks like. This when is what it looks like when you're sleeping. The moon looks at you? Yes, yes it does. And it looks at you with an angry face. Bro, y'all are picking on me so hard right now. Is it because I'm the freshest in the, in the race? Is it because I'm the bell of the ball? I think that's it. <laughs> I mad you so focused that you stopped going. <laughs> oh wait, when I still talking about mine, I was too focused, my bad. Yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Majora's Mad. Oh, it was a deep, Convoluted story. It was hella convoluted. All mm. in the Zelda stories are. And <laughs> it was like, but it was a deep, convoluted story that had nothing to do with Zelda. Main reason number one why I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> I had to rescue nobody. Mm. I had to go beat up my old friend who put on a mask and became cursed. I was good with this. Good with this <laughs> it was simple. It was fun. It was wholesome. Simple. To the point, it gave me jolly. It made me tingle in my giblets. Bro, Carly, I'm gonna need you to chill. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, I, again, I'm going with something that probably isn't super popular. Uh, I'm gonna have to say that the best video game Nintendo's put out is Pokemon Yellow. I feel like there are plenty of people that would agree to that. Uh, you know. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Poke now. So. Pokemon oh. Yellow uh, wasn't my first video game. Um, well, it was my first video game. Um, my Pokemon was your first video game? Po Pokemon Yellow was the first video game I completed. Sorry. First of all, you completed. You already got more on your bucket list than me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was the first video game that um, I fully completed by myself with no help from anyone else. Uh, so, you know, obviously there is a lot of sentimental value there, um, but my, the reason that it's my absolute favorite is because it was very reminiscent of the TV show. Um, it was difficult in a way that it, that Pokemon games aren't difficult anymore. And I just absolutely love that your little buddy followed you around. I mean, yeah, that was lit. I wanted to sell it. <laughs> you wanted to sell it. it? You can't sell that. Oh, you I mean know, the, the game? Do it. No, I meant the Pikachu in the game. Heck no, I would it never sell my Pikachu. It. it was too upset. It wouldn't even let me put it in a ball and get rid of it. Mm. Heck no. Well, yeah, that's a good one. Classic Pokemon game. Before no, but, all the I mean, new generation I'm, I'm aware stuff. that like my entire reasoning for why that's the best Nintendo game ever made is purely nostalgia. uh sentimental. Nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, nostalgia, the sentimentality of it. Yeah. Um yeah. but you know, uh if if I had to pick something else, then I would probably say uh either Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, or, there we go. Uh Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because let's be real, that game is amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that game is like probably artistically. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a great game. Yeah, if we take out like all our personal feelings about it, you ask me to pick the, the greatest game, I probably would say Breath of the Wild. I'm about to say me too. I'm like, if we, take, <laughs> if we taking like all actual personal reasons out of this, Breath of the Wild, no question. Mm. I'm like, yeah, so Breath of the Wild gets my honorable mention. I support uh, this. 
But uh, my other honorable mentions um, would be, um, you know, all the Animal Crossing games. Those are absolutely great. Oh, oh, well, I don't like Animal Crossing, so you alone on that one. Well, we all already stated that Breath of the Wild's on there, so I guess another honorable mention for me would be um, Kirby. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of that game? You know, you got so many with different titles. I'm about to the say. one with like six games in one. I <laughs> like that Kirby. Kirby game. in general. <laughs> there you go. Kirby in general. Anything Kirby related. I got mad respect. I mean, I did I did Animal Crossing in general. So, yeah, you yeah. can do Kirby in general. I'm like, because even though he's a pink ball of death, Kirby's fun. <laughs> like, Kirby's a I good time. I have never enjoyed a Kirby game, to be completely honest. It's, it's really hard. That's why. I enjoy Kirby <laughs> games. They're fun. Now, I haven't beaten too many of them. That's hard. I was to say, <laughs> don't lie to people. Like, <laughs> I've completed every Kirby like, game. No, nah, I can't say that. There's one Kirby where the boss has like seven different phases. Like, <laughs> oh there's some hardcore God. stuff going on. My uh, first boy that like I ever had a crush on, um, his name it? was Peter. Uh, Peter, if you're watching this guy. Okay. <laughs> um, but... He absolutely loved Kirby, and this was back like when I didn't really know who Kirby was because yeah. all of my video games that I had, they were like Rugrats and <laughs> Animal Crossing yeah, and you know stuff like that. And so I didn't really uh, know anything else about that kind of stuff. And he would just tell me about like this little pink ball, and I was always just like, okay, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Oh, it's good stuff there. Good stuff. Y'all can get Miles, I'm coming for you. How? How? I'm already done. I'm done. No I already lost him. No, I'm, I'm coming for you in the next one. <laughs> Alright. My racing ability is cut literally in half. Because <laughs> this little, little thing. Do you see this little thing? So I have my, my honorable mentions. I have to go back in my old library and I wrote these down so I wouldn't forget them. Just made right. put out a whole list. Honorable <laughs> mentions, first and foremost, is uh, Eternal Darkness. I don't know if you guys remember that on GameCube. It was great. Nope. This is what I'm talking about. Gabe, you had so many good games. Like, you got one of the best Nintendo symbols that ever popped up. The game used to mess with you. Move on, young man. Move I'm just on. saying. I'm just saying. This All is right. honorable mention time, not nostalgia time. Next one, Cube of War. Good, great game. Great, great. Did you freaking. say Cube of War? Cube of War. Like, what, a, what like is, a herbivore, but you're a Cube of uh, War. I thought you said Cube of War. I'm like, <laughs> that a cube based off Kratos? Like, how does that yeah. work? And uh, Super Monkey Ball. I, I should have known. So Super there you go. Monkey ball. What? Okay, you don't know about Super Monkey Ball? Should have known. That's my shit right there. I knew he would have put that freaking. It's a, game. it's a, it's like a racing game, but you're a monkey in a ball. It's great. And so it has like a whole variety of different games inside of it as well. Shame, Some uh, good stuff. I think that we have heinously overlooked something. What is that? We have overlooked um, Smash Bros. Melee. That is. Still First of all, day, okay. Smash Bros. A competitive, is own regard, like competitive but, yeah. for money like, game. Smash Bros. is fun with people. It's yeah. not fun by yourself. I'm about to say, like, so, I play Smash Bros. out of necessity. It, I'm about to say, like, of it never go whooping people up. <laughs> like, that's it. It doesn't hold weight since you can't play it by yourself. Not really. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the reason why I just I only play Smash Brothers so I can whoop on other people. Like it's not like a I'm gonna right. enjoy this experience. It's <laughs> I, under, I understand that, but you know I I think that we can't not mention it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And they've came they've like defined their own like subgenre fighting game pretty much. I'm about so. to say, they yeah. created their own type <laughs> of lineup so. and sparked so many memes. It's not even funny. Mm. I'm about to say. Because like the meme says, oh my God, know who the fire emblem me. was until you play <laughs> Bruh, <Smash> Big Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who is this girl named Marth? That's a dude. Like, what? Oh, that's fire emblem. That's fire emblem. <laughs> you don't know Fire Emblem? No. Why would I know it? Name a game that Fire Emblem has that I should that I should know. <laughs> And then you go to try to buy the one that everybody tells you to play, but it's like a hundred dollars. <laughs> it's like eighty hours. Of <laughs> but on the plus side, you can get married. 
huge benefit in the RPG. Oh, bro, anytime you can get married, like Fable. Oh, oh. have y'all played the Skyrim Rune Factory games? Those are the best ones. You oh, no. and Brianna yeah. and Rune Factory. <laughs> Rune Factory is so good, you don't even know. <laughs> like, like, I have put like, like over 400 hours in Rune Factory. Bro, how did I lose? Doing what? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. So I've never heard of Rune Factory. What is this game? Like, what's going on? It's here? Harvest Moon except with RPG elements. Oh, really? That sounds actually pretty dope. Oh, it's so good. I have it. Is that something you can play online? No. <laughs> it's a snore fest. Mm, is it really? Goblin I says mean, it's boring. No, I would I would love to stream it. I just I don't have the capabilities right now mm. of streaming it. I don't have the facilities for that big man. Okay, talking about, you uh, me, on your, you you have, me, is it for the yes, Switch? I would stream that game because I love it. Yeah, it's on Switch. Oh. I kinda of got it. They have Rune Factory on the Switch? Yeah. Your, but, your buddy that's not your buddy plays it on there all the time. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to sit there and watch her try to beat up a cactus that be bodying her and her friends Bruh. and her uh, Inuyasha looking teammates because mm. she only brings the people that's got dog ears with her. You can't bring anybody in Rune Factory. You're thinking Apparently in 4 you can. Oh. Can you? I don't remember. Maybe I haven't finished oh, Rune Factory. We gotta look into this. Do some research. I gotta look into nothing. I don't play Rune Factory. I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah, we could probably get in on this, bro. No, 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 no. I refuse. Miles, <laughs> I, will play, I will play Rune Factory with you. Thank you. Some people, you know, you can't, can't rely on everybody, you know. As long as you know it. <laughs> as long as you identify. I can't let you guys win this one. My, my pride has been hurt. <laughs> All right, you guys, we pretty much labeled off our thing, so yeah. we gotta finish this race because it's a matter of pride. Yeah. There. <laughs> yes, so thank you guys for tuning in to the end of the video, you beautiful people. I mean, you can see the end of the race because this is not gonna end well. I mean, yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can sign off at the end of the race. Oh, oh Lord. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up the day? Sonic R, ladies and gentlemen, Sonic R. Sonic Heroes. That's my jam right there. I don't care if it was we should bad. Make a, we should make a discussion about Sonic. Bruh. Best song, worst game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I want to say, if, whichever one where they gave um <laughs> the Black Turtle. Whenever they gave the Black Turtle a gun, that was terrible. I know they're hedgehogs. I've been watching Tower of God. No, Leave me alone. Said, Turtle. I've been watching Tower of God. Leave me alone. All right. Reading Tower. Yeah, I mean, sorry. Reading. The way they set it up and call them episode. God, come on, guys. Not me. Go for first place. Oh, how did I get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Nobody's supposed to be here. And now how the song goes? Sounds about right. Bruh, I really lost this because I keep getting snook attacked. Oh, this is the last lap. Okay, I gotta pull it together. Here we go. Y'all got any in them blue turtle shells? The blue turtle shell always takes out the lead car. Well, so much for that. Shenanigans. Uh... Oh! Oh, here we go. Here we go. I like how silent it is Shit. because we're focusing. We're so <laughs> focused. So focused. We're like, this is going on the internet. <laughs> this. This will be our crowning moment. Just this. This is what I'll be known for. Oh, oh. there we go. Who put me in the desert? Oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Uh, third place, I'm good with oh it. You know God. what I'm saying? Top three status. Top three status. The boy has been dominating this whole time. <laughs> and I just... Look at that. Like, how did this happen? You mess up two races and it's over with. This is All right, that was good. Oh, yeah, it's two out of three. Peace out.
out, America. Love and peace. When you come back, I'll tell you the rest of the story. All right. Generation Z. Go ahead and Last check out Airbender. our links and descriptions down below. I've been MY Kai Swag, aka Oni Pepperoni. I am Avatar of the Millennium Tribe. <laughs> and I'm Pesky Griffey. You can check me out on YouTube and Twitch. YouTube and Twitch. Like, follow, subscribe, all the good stuff. Appreciate it. Peace out.